guys, welcome to another juicy vlog. The heat continues in the UK. We've said this in every video lately, but it is seriously so hot. We are about to go and film the Q&A video for you guys, but first we need to pick up some iced coffee. Hiya, how you doing? Um, come on, here. Can I please have a uh, vanilla iced latte? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'll just get an iced latte then, please. So we asked you guys over the last couple of days to send us any questions you want. We saw we saw Alfie Days basically upload a Q&A video. We saw the title. We thought, yes, this is it. We're getting our shout out. This is this is the launch of us. So we went to check our subscriber count at, and we'd lost like four. So uh, so it wasn't a shout out for us. But anyway, we thought we would film a proper juicy couples Q&A. So that's exactly what we're going to do. Some of these questions, guys, like you're not even ready. You're not even ready. Right, coffee's ready. That's what I say, guys. We're trying to find a location. Because we can't both fit here. I don't know if this will stay. We can't both fit here. Let me show you something. Or oh, this camera could fall, you know. No, it's not I think that looks good. That could slip. But if it does, so I'm here, aren't I? Yeah, but where you won't get it quick enough before the lens gets touched. And I can't, I can't sit there. I've got no to put my legs. That's why I'm saying put it there. Okay. I mean, I mean, the camera could fall. The camera could definitely fall. But that kind of works. Um, the camera might fall. I wish you Hopefully could, not. I wish you could see what's behind the camera. There's a Labrador on the back of a kayak. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> There's a person on it as well. So. It's so nice to come down here and just see everyone out, people in the sea, people swimming, people enjoying this heat. It's half five. It's a golden retriever, not a Labrador, isn't is it? it? Oh, it's a golden retriever. It's half past five and it's still 26 degrees. It's crazy. It's crazy. Hot. Right, let's get these questions out. I wish I wasn't wearing a jumper, but I'm so burnt from yesterday that I have to wear a jumper. You say a jumper, you mean my t-shirt. It's kind of a thick t-shirt. So the first question is, have you ever got jealous, either of you, at your partner finding someone else attractive? Okay. There's, okay, for me, two levels. Well, probably more than, oh. There's two levels to this. Hey. <laughs> Isn't it huge? Hey. Oh, they're not, they're not waving up. I think there's finding someone attractive, which is fine. And then there's like, making them think you find them attractive. So, Explain. If there's someone that walks past, you wouldn't just be like, oh, she's fit anyway, would you? Because you wouldn't do that. No. But like, you're allowed to look, I get that people look at people, I look at guys, you look at girls, I look at girls, you look at guys, like, it's just people look at each Wait, other. Wait, what? No, not like that. We, appre like, people, we can appreciate ah, good looking people. That's not what us. I meant. Right, you carry on. But yeah, fine. Yeah, no, you, exactly. So okay. like, you can find people attractive, that's absolutely fine. I wouldn't get jealous if you think someone's good looking. Yeah. For me, I know that you're not, you wouldn't do anything. Yeah. And I completely, like, fully, fully trust you. Like, there's no part of me that doesn't trust you. Yeah. My only thing is you make it obvious when you find someone attractive because like you stare and like I look stare. back at people, which no, is like, oh, I don't care. I don't do that. But, no, but, no, but then they're probably thinking like, that's embarrassing for the girlfriend because her boyfriend's staring at me. That's the only thing I don't like. Oh and you know that God. happens. I don't okay, I don't think I stare at girls. You, I, no, no, you, you I don't think, mean to. Like you're often like I looking at their at dress people. or something. Yeah, exactly. I stare at people, like everyone. Ever, I'm so fascinated. I love people watching. It's like it my favourite thing to do. It doesn't bother me in like a jealous way. It's more that I feel like a bit of an idiot when they're thinking, oh God. Okay. What's going to on To be honest, you, ne you very rarely say, even like celebrity and stuff, like guys, not I know of anyway, you, you don't really talk about guys that much or like, finding people attractive and stuff like that have i ever got i've never got jealous of you finding someone attractive because no. it's just it's just the truth like you'd people be lying are better if... looking people than you in the world and there's better looking people than me in the world yeah but very I few I but... brilliant but i don't i'm not with you for your looks like as in no offense because <laughs> I, I do think, I do think you're good lot. looking obviously i just think it's untrue when couples say no i don't find anyone else attractive at all because if you weren't with that person or even if you were and someone showed you a photo of a very good looking guy or girl and you and you yeah, said they're not attractive this, yeah. then you're like like obviously there yeah. are attractive people in the world but have we ever we're not really jealous people generally no. um do you get what i mean though i get what you mean do you get what i mean well you haven't said anything that means anything thanks a lot <laughs> <laughs> question two 
does size matter? And now I think what they meant by this was camera lenses. So what I would say is we use a few different lenses. We're using a wide angle one at the moment. Um, I, it's a I, bit didn't, I didn't think you'd let this go on this lot. And what? I don't actually care about lenses. Oh, they're talking about coffee. Um, I, I prefer <laughs> like an espresso, which is quite short to be honest, but. Um... Ah, <sighs> does size matter? Okay, let's answer it properly. This is a juicy open I... Q&A. You actually, yeah, you can answer this. I, I can't control it. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, you, you, can't, mm. you get what you're given unless you buy some weird pump off the internet. Oh my god. Which, I've, really which, I've, which I've never no, done. Because like, yeah, there's kids around. Well, they about? should know that we're filming. We hired this beach out to film, <laughs> so... Um, I suppose not. Obviously, like, you're not going to complain if it's like... I suppose it doesn't matter. No, it doesn't matter. Of course it doesn't matter matters like a big deal is in it's like a yes or no no if it matters right. then you're not doing it relationship like, it doesn't matter mm. that's good there's obviously <laughs> <laughs> shut up <laughs> there's obviously a benefit of it being yeah because a, a you know a big <laughs> right uh. question three ah long one speaking of long ones as you guys are very against spending all your time on a job you dislike, how do you guys afford to do tra uh, to do YouTube when you are a small channel at the moment? Now this is interesting because obviously a lot of the content we put out, we're very much of the mindset that you should do what you love. You know our kind of phrases, do the thing. Um, Sorry, however, I'm still like digesting, carry right. on. However, I wouldn't want to generalise and say don't spend any time do ever doing a job you don't like because sometimes, especially if you're younger, you have to sometimes start out to get that grounding. You've and got it, to work hard to then yeah, be in a position it, where you can do something. It's about like. the bigger picture. If you have to work a job that you don't particularly like for two, three, four years um, because you're saving all the money on the side to, to start something yeah, new. to fund a project that you've yeah. always wanted to, something along those lines, then 100% do it. It has to be... I think it's where the intent lies. It's more that there's an end goal. Like if Not, you're sorry, I, I, would, I disagree with myself. Yeah. So it's not. It's more that you're working towards something else. If you're not happy where you are now, at least try and work towards something else. It's the process. Yeah. It, you have to enjoy. I don't think there's a goal. I think goals change and move on. Yeah. So ignore me. You have to enjoy the process of where you want to go and what you want to do. We don't think there's How any reason for anyone to moan about their job and not do something to change it. I guess that's our kind of yeah. thing. Because, because the opportunities, we're so lucky if you're in a similar you know, situation to us in society, um, in, even just living in this country, if you have internet access and you're watching this video, you are you know, you own a laptop, you own a phone, you own a computer, you're in a position where you can make things happen for yourself. There is opportunity out there. And the second part is how do you afford to do YouTube when you are a small channel at the moment? I mean, we we both have we both work for other companies as well. We and it's and we don't not enjoy that. Like we enjoy other things other than yeah, just YouTube. We, we, like we do we do like other things like with our juicy vlog media. So we do like promotional work for companies and brand work and yeah, logo design. design. In fact, we probably haven't mentioned our actual business website much to you guys. So maybe some of you watching have a need for us a little little self promotion here juicyblogmedia.com we do photography promotional videos uh web design logos uh copywriting advice as well social media ads advice audits that sort of thing so we can do a diff i mean we don't really like talking about money that much but we could do a separate video on kind of how we make our money but yeah at the same time lucy and i also on our time on youtube been working full-time jobs yeah. um um, on top of YouTube and on top of Instagram stuff, which does bring in money, not the reason we do it. So I suppose, how do you guys afford, afford to YouTube? Well, we, we, we just have several different other ways to make money. Yeah, several different kind of revenue streams. Yeah. We are definitely not, we couldn't rely on AdSense from these videos if that was what your question Only was like asking. Only big, big channels can. Yeah, with and millions and millions of views. Um, I'm going to ask you the next one. Oh, okay. I've, I, I haven't looked at these questions since the other night, so go for it. So this one is literally, I think this one's just aimed at you. I don't think I'm really in a position to answer. Okay. It's like, I guess, for you. Yeah. Um, spit or swallow? <laughs> um, what, coffee again? Yeah, I think, swallow I think the coffee, man. these guys know we love coffee, I swear. Yeah, you got to swallow the coffee. I mean, it's neater, it's cleaner. These are juicy questions, but we're, you we ask for it. You wouldn't want to waste anything, would you? You wouldn't want to waste it. Um, it's good stuff. Yeah. Saves time. And it saves a lot of mess in cleaning up after. Get it down, yeah. We can't. Ah, ah, these rocks are well uncomfy. I didn't realise. I know. 
I feel like my bum's well squidgy and then I sit up and then it's like, feels like I can feel the bones. Oh. Okay, I'm going to skip the next question. What is it? Will you ever ask Lucy to marry you? Oh, thanks. <laughs> um, yes, of course I will at some point. So keep watching the videos, make sure you're subscribed, you don't want to miss it. Notifications on for that <laughs> proposal vlog. That'll be such a good video, will you? <laughs> to be fair. Your ultimate date location. Here's pretty good. Like, I'm not even joking. I'm someone who's not... Oh, no, you might, like, disagree and think, oh, for God's sake. Carry on, I'm just sorting myself out. I mean, I would love to, like, fly you off to Paris. That would be uh -huh. awesome. I would love to pretend we're going for lunch and actually have booked, like, Eurostar tickets. I've booked a restaurant in Paris. It takes, like, two hours to Why get to Paris. Why are ruin this for me? Because that would have been well nice. Well, I'm never going to do it, so it's not going to ruin it. Um, Aren't that I a lucky would, girl? Th that would be insane. Um, however... Oh, I like the simple things as well. Like we're sitting here, the sun is shining. There's there's a dog on a paddle board. We're talking that's to you guys, a making a little George, video. That's so rude. Oh yeah, where's the dog? No, there's a. That's. There's two dogs. dogs. That's that, a paddle that board. A the thing? other one was a kayak. Is that a thing? I love it. That's I, awesome. I want to get a dog just to do that. What would your ultimate date location be then? Oh, that's such a bloody difficult one. I don't I don't like the idea of it being like we're going on a date and it's going to be the perfect location. I feel it's like pressure, we've had we've had it? so many nice times and we've gone bloody hell. Look around, it's amazing. I know, in our like, flat. On... <laughs> <laughs> no, I suppose we've had so many times where I've been like bloody hell, this is amazing. But often I wouldn't have thought to go there like normally. Like you know the other you yeah. know the other night. This sounds ridiculous. We were going for a walk. We needed to just clear our heads. We didn't take we didn't take our phones. We weren't like on our phones. We weren't doing anything like Working. social media. Eh? And we went over here. The, the sea was fully out. We walked down, it was literally golden hour. We walked underneath the pier, which I've never oh, done before. so nice. And we were ha holding hands, it was really windy, my hair was, my dress was flying up, it was quite funny. Um, but it was just like yep. really chilled, and I, it, everything looked so lovely. There were loads of couples out, it was, it was really nice. Cheap date. And yeah, that's what I mean, I don't, I don't like the whole like, oh okay so let's go here and do that and like this is going to be perfect because if i put pressure yeah. on something i've been on holiday before and if something goes doesn't go how i wanted it to i start getting worked up and, I, and then i start overthinking it and then i can't enjoy myself because i'm thinking well, i'm literally thinking i'm not enjoying this as much as i should be and you have to remember guys we have been together for like what nearly five years we've we've been to the caribbean together we've been stop to showing off mate <laughs> we've been to posh restaurants we've done like fancy five-star hotels we've done all that stuff and not saying we won't do it again but what i'm saying is we now just value each other we've been through the process what i mean by this is like of, a of, bloody process no, in life isn't it of me trying to impress you you trying to impress me taking you to nice places all that like we've we're kind of through that phase yeah um and now we just love spending time with each other yes. in a like in a nice location it doesn't really matter where it is we go we go camping and we have fun do you know what i mean i miss camping i'd love, I'd to, love go to go camping again oh do you know what we should do you know i really want right i had this, this idea my, this is my dream date location right, right now. go on i'm gonna interrupt you because i will okay it. go on a field in the middle of absolutely nowhere yeah we were in a rubbish little tent it's well, probably got a hole in yeah all right. it's raining it's cold it's raining. and our air you, bed's no. broken and we're snuggling up and it's like you You'd can hear nature around you you're a bit scared because it's dark outside you wake up in the morning you have a nice fry up like and you're oh, oh it's conveniently I'm, stopped raining in the morning has obviously it? right it's, yeah it's meant to be my dream location it's gonna work but just like i don't know i just want to be like in the middle of nowhere do you know what i was gonna say so i'm facing this way my bum hurts on that do you know what i was gonna say go on and i don't know if you guys would be up for this i would love to do like a meetup but like a camping meetup <laughs> Like no, literally, like That'd like get so good. I don't know, like get, get hot tubs. thirty of you guys or something. Hot tubs. Us two, some other, some more of our friends or whatever. Maybe some other YouTubers. I tell you, a few people that we do that do. That would be <laughs> sick. Like all stay in tents. Fine, thank you. Some, you're right. Yeah. Some hot tubs. I know quite a few people that we know through YouTube and Instagram that would be so. Who would up be for up that. for that? Guys, comment That'd below be if you're so up for that. Good. That'd be awesome. What would we call it? Juicy camping. Juicy camping. No, there's a better name than that out there, isn't there? We'll think Comment of Comment below a name for our camping resort. We'll make a logo. <laughs> we will, we're good at that. <laughs> when do you want kids and how many do you want? Um, I want kids when I feel like I'm not a kid myself. 100%. Which I, I don't know when that's going to be. We, we, I, you haven't got any young babies in your family. I've had Thea now for like two and a bit years, my niece. Yeah. I absolutely love her to bits. I absolutely love seeing her and spending time with her. Like, but I honestly don't think I could do that all day, every day. I think you could yes. do it. I think you could do it and you would do it very well. Thank and you. we would be good parents. We will be good parents one day. Yeah. But... I just, it's not that we don't want it, it's that we want to do other things first. Yeah. And having a kid right now would um, kind of change those plans just, dramatically. Yeah, exactly. That's all it is. We've just got other stuff we want to do. We want to like write our story. 
because I feel like when you have a kid, like your whole life is devoted to them, which is amazing, which is right, which and is we totally can't wait. right. Like we cannot wait, but, but first, now is not the time. We kind of want to like we've got our own story to write, kind of thing. Yeah, and then we'll write theirs. Well, no, they can write theirs. They can We're write not going to do it for we'll them. We'll be in it. We'll be in the first couple of chapters. Aww. I saw something the other day. I am looking forward to it. Genuinely. I saw something the other day that said you've only got eighteen summers with your kid, so make each one special. Wow. How sweet is that? You've got eighteen little. Oh, I can't wait. I know. How many? How many? Oh right, okay. How many kids? Do you know what? I would like loads. I'd like four, five, six. Four, five, yeah. Four, five. But that means I'm spending like half my life pregnant, which I'm not really. It, up we for. worked this out as well. Nine month pregnancy. Nine times five. Go on. Um, well, Don't embarrass yourself. Nine, oh no, 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 no. Hang on. Forty six. Is that wrong? Forty four. Forty four. Well, I was doing 10 the times fact that it's five, got a five, 50. In, the fact that it's got a five in. And then take a one off a five for each zero. one. Oh, 55. 45. I actually need to leave. 45 months. I think I'm going to go home. 45 months pregnant, which is how many guys. years? 48. Oh, wow. So it's like just under two years of your life pregnant. No, it's not. Okay. Two years for five kids and it's nine months each. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm actually in shock. Okay. <laughs> Four oh, you're years. right. Quick one now. We've already kind of answered this. How long have you and George been together? Coming up for five years this November, so it's four, uh, I'm not doing maths again, no way, four and a bit years. Four years and eight, nine months. That'll do it. Yeah. The worst part of doing YouTube, someone asked, uh, to me, there is no worst I part, have an I genuinely love it. I love it too, but my worst part is when we don't upload for a bit, because uh, life gets yeah. in the way. When we physically can't upload. And like we always want to upload, even it like, but this, this is a struggle we have. Like we have a standard with our videos where we want them to be high. We want them to be like just as good as the last video, if not better. Yeah. So when we're uploading, like not being beheaded again, but like if we like, we, we do a load of great vlogs and we're really happy Yeah, with some it, nice B-roll and good editing music. Yeah. And then we're like, oh, hang on. We haven't got any evenings free this week yeah. or days which means our only choice is we've got, say, an hour free on Thursday exactly. evening. So we've got to so do... film like a sit-down Q&A. <laughs> this, is, this is outside, we're doing all right. Um, and we've been wanting to do a Q&A for ages, so it's fine. But it's more like, I don't, I hate like not being as good as I can be. So sometimes I'd rather not upload than put something up that I'm not happy with. Yeah, rather than rush something for the sake of it. And we it wanna... not actually be the be as good yeah. as it can we be. We want every video so to, when... sorry. So we do this a lot as well, <sighs> talk over each other, go. Mm, all the time. So when, um, yeah, so basically when it's like that, I get a bit like, ugh, because then I haven't uploaded. If it's like been four or five days, maybe a week, That's I'm the thinking worst. this feels rubbish. And then when you do put one on you're, and it doesn't do as well, like it's just, I don't know. I know what you mean. It's nice to get into a routine of uploading a regularly. If you're a creator, you probably know this as well. And it's the same with Instagram. Like when you're a creator, you and when you're a creative person in general you want to be outputting content and like with social media as soon as we upload a video like this video will go up a couple of days later it's forgotten the next one's out so with that high kind of turnaround it's not like a movie where you make you know you spend six months making it it goes out and it's like an epic forever or a book you write it <laughs> an and people epic buy forever. it over years and stuff a vlog is a vlog like it's, it's relevant on that day and then forget it we need to just remember sometimes just like not to worry too much and just like put something up that's probably one of the worst bits overthinking 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 content and being too perfectionist and being too worried about the little things i suppose rather than um and just worrying about the little things, I guess. Yeah, I think that's a good answer. I'm happy with my answer. You happy with your answer there? Mm -hmm. Alright, that's good. I'm gonna lock my answer in. All right. I want to go in the sea. Oh, this is a. Let's Should we go in the sea? That is a relevant question, and it's probably not appropriate right now because the amount of people here. But one of the questions we got was, "Have you ever skinny dipped?" I didn't even know that was a question. That's so weird. Really? Yeah, came through. <laughs> Sounds like we've probably scripted that, doesn't it? <laughs> Oh, I'd like to go in the sea. Well, funny enough, the next question funny is... Funny you should say that, Lucy. Um, yes, I have. A few times. I'll tell you a funny story about I have as well, it. but in my friend's swimming pool. Oh, that doesn't does count, that does count? It? It's no. a bit weird. We're all mates, as when, all like blokes. I don't know if I should say this. When I was a kid, I did it. Not a kid. Like 15, maybe? And I was with my mates, and we were at the Goring Gap, and I was Boring in... Gap. The Boring Gap. And I was in the sea, and me and my friend like took our bikinis off, and we were like, oh, this is fine, because we've never done it before. And oh, it was... Like, Broad daylight, there you were, were families. In the sea already. Yeah. Okay. The, you know that thing you do when you're in the sea and you think it's much deeper than it is, and then you can literally stand up and it's like, oh, hang on. <laughs> that basically happened. Because I thought I couldn't touch the ground because I have my legs up, and then I put my foot down and there was sand, and I was literally in like a few feet of water, just bollock naked. So you just stood up? <laughs> I, mean, I didn't stand up, but it was oh. more that there were like families around, and I was there like naked, just like floating in a shallow bit of water, and it was really weird. 
That's, like, oh, that's an odd experience. So it wasn't like a drunken like no, night really time, sober. all your friends running in naked together. You I've were just like well. you were just it was it was an, a family afternoon. It wasn't family. You're at there all. like on your own <laughs> in a, a put a little puddle of water and you got naked. You freak. Does, it's a nice, it's an exhilarating feeling. I'd recommend it to anyone. All don't right. get arrested in doing it, and don't take this as my recommendation. But it's a very exhilarating experience, <laughs> and I'd recommend it to all of you. All right. Oh, this is a question aimed at me. Have I ever fancied one of Lucy's friends? Where do I begin? <laughs> I uh, hope you say yes. Um, f oh, this goes back to the thing of f finding attractive versus True. fancied. Yes. Um, Lucy has quite a lot of attractive friends. Many, several, like loads actually. Thank you. But I pick well. But have I fancied everyone? I think fancy is a bit more than finding attractive. It's like, I actually yeah, fancy like, like I would like to pursue something with you. My head has been turned but it can just, in this villa. My head's been turned. It can, but fancy can just be mean you think they're fit. I know, like, oh, fancy, it's that line. It fancy depends a bit how, of you. It depends how you define that. So have I ever wanted to be with any of Lucy's friends? No. Well, have, ask that. It's have I, Yeah, you know, have I, have I ever fancy, have I ever, yeah, I be suppose Be with so. in a relationship or sex? Oh, that's different. Like, so be with, be with. Do you mean it in relationship? I, I wouldn't. Wise? I wouldn't want to be with any of your friends. No. But I'd want to be with some of your friends. <laughs> well, if they're watching, they can guess who they are. They I know. Who. If you think you're fit, George probably wants to bang you. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> are we leaving that in? Probably. Well, we normally leave things in. Yeah. Are you doing a meet up? Yes. We're, we're going camping. We're going no, camping. camping. Let's let's get a date in the diary, no, guys. I really we need, want to get a good name. We need twenty to thirty of you to say yes in the comments to coming camping with us. Somewhere near Brighton. Camping. Uh, juicy. And we'll do it. We'll meet up. We'll make videos. We'll. That'd be so good. And we can have like an editing studio in the woods. And we can have like a selfie wall in the trees. What? And have like rounders, barbecue. That would be I'll so cook. good. It'd be so fun. There's a deep one now, okay? Mm -hmm. Do you think you've succeeded in life? And would you change anything in your life so far? I wouldn't change anything. Me neither. We I don't... think the reason I'm here and doing what I'm doing and as I'm happy now with where I'm going is because of what's happened before. Some things I'm not happy with as in look, that like there've been shit moments and there've been bits that have been sad and like bits that I'm, mm -hmm. maybe I've acted in the wrong way. But I think if those things hadn't happened, then I wouldn't be how I am now. Yeah, I think obviously mistakes you've made in the past, yes, you may change, but really- well, I don't think you would. It's that whole thing of not changing the past because it can affect the future, isn't it? It's like if you go back in time and then like kill someone, then you come- That's what I mean. No, that's what I mean. <laughs> like if you change it, like every everything you've done in your life has made you who you are yeah. and it shaped you to the person you are today. And that's like an ongoing process. Yeah. So I wouldn't change anything in my life. And is do, it, are you successful? Do we you think happy? we're successful? It depends, like I, the only barometer for success I, I, we kind of judge ourselves on, it's not money, it's not wealth, it's not owning things, it's not, not how many followers you have, it's not numbers, it's not, it's happiness. That, to me, genuinely, if you're happy, you're okay, you're doing all right, you're, you're winning life, you're, yeah. you're fine. If you're happy with what you're doing, you're happy with the situation, not all the time, everyone has bad days. Yeah, you're allowed to have bad days, but I think ultimately, if you're like in a good place, then I think, Mm. Hang on though. Go on. I guess it is the whole thing of how you judge success because there could be like a millionaire there somewhere that's got this massive business and technically he's successful in only, that respect. Only if he's happy. But, exactly, he's not happy. Yeah. But I guess you could measure success on so many levels because then there could be someone that's really upset with everything most days and then one day they have a good day. Oh no, I don't know. I don't the know question I was like... life. Are you successful in life? <laughs> uh, are we successful in life? Let's bring it back to us. I think we're happy. We have our moments for sure. We kind of know we've got plans. We know where we want to go. We know what we're doing. We're doing the thing that we love. We're physically doing it. We're not a channel with a million subscribers making loads of money and stuff, but that, that doesn't bother us. We obviously like- It doesn't mean we're not successful in what we've done so far. Exactly. We're, we're doing, you have to look at it. We're doing what we love. We wake up every day. We're, you know, we're, we're, we, live in Sorry. A, we live in a great place. That's not related to what you were it saying. It probably is. I go on about stuff all the time. You're like, shut up. As if, I love I'm it. Joking. When you look at it like that, I guess we are successful. Although, is it big headed to say you're successful? I don't know. I don't know. We're I trying to answer the question. To be big if, if we were judging on money and we were like, yeah, we're successful, we've got loads of money, no. which isn't true, then it would be big headed. But I think if it's that you're saying you're happy, I don't think you can say someone being happy is being big headed. That's so true, actually. 
So we th we think if you are judging your oh, it's free now. Hello. Are you okay? Yeah, good. Thank you. We're good. Yeah, sounds good. And um, whereabouts are? Do you want to come to our flat? Are you right driving over? Yeah, that's cool. Um, it's seven, okay? Because we we're currently out and we need to run back and quickly set up. Is that all right? Yeah, perfect. Um, I'll text uh, I'll text you my address, shall I? Cool. Perfect. Cool. I'll text you in a sec. I'll see you later. Sweet. Sweet. Cheers. Bye. And the final question of this Q&A: Why is coffee such a big part of your lives? What do you mean? I already finished. Think, I I've already finished this, and I want another one. With that. Do you know what? We we love coffee. I just I just think it's nice. It's a nice thing to have in the mornings. I don't even use it for like the caffeine hit or whatever. Do you? I don't know. I mean, coffee's not something. Coffee's like, coffee. Coffee's great. Mm, yeah. That's that's it. If you don't like, I don't know. If you don't like coffee, try it. You might like it. I never used to like it. No, you do. Thanks so much for watching guys, we hope you enjoyed this little insight into our heads. Yeah, we hope this answers some of the questions you guys have been wondering about us. If you have any more, let us know, we can answer them on Instagram, or in another Q&A, or in a vlog. We love Q&As, we'll do another one soon. Yeah, let's do it. Anyway, right, guys, we've, we've got, got go. something exciting to go and do. We have, we've got to go and record a podcast right now. This second. See you guys soon. Love you. <laughs> oh, right, right. I feel like I'm ending a phone call, mate. love you, bye! <laughs> okay, right. Make sure you Thank give this you video so a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and, and subscribe to the channel. We just hit 6,000, or we're about to depending on. Let's say just hit it, because I reckon we'll have got it by the time I reckon we're like, we're like 10 away. So, we'll see you soon guys. Bye. This is the announcement. We had the TV show, we had podcasts, we had the website before that. This is the one that you want to watch. Keeping it in and not telling you guys all over Twitter and Instagram is killing us. Like, we need to tell you soon.